anytime we've got a geometry question like this one, we want to focus on the things that we know that are not explicitly stated by the test maker. So here we've got sides that are of equal length, and we know that we've got one angle here that's 22.5 degrees. And we're being asked for the area of this triangle. So first of all, this is a isosceles triangle. We have two equal sides, which means we're always going to have two equal angles. And so the angles opposite the lengths of 10 are going to be equal, which means this angle up here is also 22.5 degrees. Now, if we know that, we also know the third angle because all three angles have to add up to 180. So we know the last angle is 180 minus 22.5 minus 22.5, which adds up to 45 degrees, leaving us with 135 degrees. So we know this angle is 135 degrees. Now, in an obtuse triangle, which this is because it has an angle that's larger than 90 degrees, we can find the area of the triangle by multiplying a base times a height, as with any triangle. But in an obtuse triangle, the way we calculate the height is a little bit different. So I'm just going to restart this picture to make it a little bit clearer. If we draw it so that we have one of the sides of this triangle flat to us, so that this side is 10, this side is 10, and we know that we have 135 degrees in here, the height created from the very top portion of the triangle, if I bring it down directly down to a parallel point to the part of the triangle that we have flat to us, the height I've created here represents the height of the entire obtuse triangle. But basically what you're doing is you're creating a pretend right triangle outside. This right triangle outside we know has an angle in here that must add up to 180 degrees when combined with the 135 degree angle because we're going halfway around in a circle like this. You can imagine this as being a flat line cut by a transversal. So essentially we know that this angle plus 135 gives us 180 and we know that must be 45 degrees. Now, since I have 90 degrees here in my pretend right triangle, that means that this last angle must also be 45 degrees. And that means I have a make believe 45, 45, 90 triangle out here. And if that is the case, then this side and this side are going to be equal and they're both going to be in a relationship of x to x to x root 2 which means x root 2 is equal to 10 and this is where most people will make a mistake not knowing how to deal with this this means that x is equal to 10 over root 2 but i can move that radical to the top if i want by multiplying top and bottom by root 2 over root 2 because essentially that's just multiplying by one. If you multiply by one, you don't change the value of the original number. So that would give me 10 root two over two, which is also equal to five root two. So I know that the height is equal to five root two. I know my original base is equal to 10. And so base times height over two is equal to area meaning the area is equal to 10 times 5 root 2 over 2, which is equal to 25 root 2, and which means that our answer choice here was E. And that's it.